Since established in Indonesia, the importance of integrated health posts or posyandu has been well acknowledged, especially in monitoring the growth and development of children under 5 years old. Based on the government basic health research data in 2013, there are 4.6 million children with nutrition problems in Indonesia. That is why the number of posyandu keeps on growing. Until 2011, Indonesia has more than 268,000 posyandu. There are five main steps in posyandu session. First, the caregivers register their children. Second, the community health volunteer, or known as cater, scales each child's weight. Third, the cater notes the weight in a child's health card, or KMS. Fourth, after reviewing the health card, cater gives feedback or necessary counseling to the child's caregiver. And finally, help workers provide medical service as required. There are usually five to eight caters at one posyandu session. Each session goes on for four to five Five hours to handle around 150 children. The caterer sometimes feels overwhelmed because they are handling a lot of children in short amount of time. As a result, the caterers are hurried when they collect data, and sometimes the caterers are unable to do counseling properly, so they are not fully confident as well. After each posyandu session, the caterer have to make many reports for various agencies, but the content of these reports are mostly the same. No wonder. If if we collected the data from all the posyandu since it was established, it could be as tall as a skyscraper. Because of those various reports, the submission of posyandu data is usually late. This could lead to delay in important decision-making that is related in revising the growth monitoring status and counseling. Thankfully, Indonesia has now entered the digital era with many technology advances, including the use of smartphone and its mobile application. Wahana VC Indonesia developed mobile phone application called Mposyandu. This Android-based mobile application can be easily downloaded in the caterer's smartphone and others as well. The Mposyandu application can increase the quality of Posyandu through two features. First, growth monitoring. The caterer will register the children's identity identity and input their data such as weight and height. Then the application will analyze the status of their growth and nutrition condition. Second, Mposyandu can be an additional tool for caterers in doing counseling. The messages appeared on the phone are specific and tailored to the children's need based on their feeding practice. Now the caterer can confidently prioritize on appropriate messages for counseling with caregivers. This application also includes relevant educational pictures and videos. Through Mposyandu, health personnel at a program level would find it easier in collecting and managing the data. The data would be automatically saved in a server and accessed by those who have been granted with permission. The data can be formulated into different reports based on the needs of the health personnel. To a good data system, relevant parties would find it easier and faster in making decisions related to nutrition improvement. Moreover, appropriate counseling will be more likely to improve good feeding practice. This all leads to our main objective to ensure all Indonesian children are well-nourished, healthy, and smart. The Mposyandu service is present for Indonesian children and for us all.